Here's the very special thing about this FA Cup final. The year 2020 has clearly presented us with many challenges for every cross-section of society. Football is a universal language. It allows us to normalise something that was once seen as very taboo. Mental health is very taboo. Football isn't. In my day when I used to play and stuff, we kept everything inside. It was a sign of weakness to be actually talking to you like this. But now I can tell it's a real strength, you know, because it, it has set me through. For me, the sound of support with football was absolutely critical in my own recovery. There were so many times when I was really ill that I didn't feel I belonged in the world. As soon as I was in that stadium surrounded by 50,000 people, I felt like I belonged to something where I didn't feel I belonged anywhere else in the world. So football is a huge part of my recovery. Men talk a lot about football, uh, too much about football, and probably not enough about mental health and their feelings. So actually to bring those things together and to put that you know, the FA Cup final associated with mental health, what an incredible thing. Find someone to speak to, whoever that may be. That might be a friend, that might be a member of your family, it might be a complete outsider. And talk with them openly and freely and without any fear of judgment. Uh, and I think you'll find that's the first step to kind of getting better. I'll be honest with you, uh, if you were interviewing me, had Chelsea won, I might not be as high spirited as I am now.